There's so many freaking products out there these days claiming this and that, plant health, blah, blah, blah. SAR versus ISR. I just want someone who can just simplify this all for me. Research biology facility in Stein, Switzerland, bentgrass plots treated with dacanyl action fungicide were compared to plots treated with dacanyl fungicide and untreated plots to evaluate the effects of drought. Girly man. This time lapse photography shows how the acibenzol or S methyl component of dacanyl action helps turf defend itself from drought stress. We see the first signs of wilting from the untreated control plot on day three. On day four... Check out the girly migrats without asabenzala. Yeah, look at that dacanyl action in action, yeah. no signs of stress on day five. The dacanyl action-treated plants produced PR proteins that enabled the plants to cope with drier conditions. So this is all fine and dandy, but how do I know this isn't just another snick of a product? Come on, man. We are some gentle, yeah. Yeah, action has asabenzala and is the only active ingredient in the category recognized by FRAC, it's called the Host Plant Defense Induction Category. And it's the only one registered in TARP. Did you say FRAC? Like Dr. Vargas is here? Yeah, Dr. Vargas? I didn't even know that old goat was still alive. He's so crazy, man. You think you lose it? Yeah, yeah, plus, look at, look at all this, this research from, from recognized universities. Wow, Pythium data from Wisconsin. Bacteria will from Rhode Island. So what do you think? Are you ready to pump up your turf off with some action? You know you guys tell a good story here. I've heard nothing but good things from Wisconsin Calories about this product. I tell you what, I'm on my way to get a hold of my local rep and then place my order. Action is here to pump your turf up! 